My name is Novana Venerable, and I'm representing Oak Park and River Forest High School. The title of my piece is Cody. My youngest brother was born with my grandfather's nose, round like spools of thread, my father's eyes, and my mother's jeans. He is 12 years old now, and I watch him play hungry, hungry hippos. See his body jitters like a wind-up toy, and he screams like a happy crow when he asks me to play with him. He tries to learn the words to the Scooby-Doo song, repeats the phrases my mother and I say, and when I see him, I wonder, how could God know that diabetes peels 27 years off of life like dead skin? Yet he still allows my brother to have his fingers pricked every day. Why is it when I look at him, I can see every needle we've ever had to stick his arms, legs, or stomach with to keep him alive? Sometimes five shots a day isn't enough to fight juvenile diabetes. I think. How could God bless him with seizures and autism? Why every time we rush him to the hospital, it could be my last day watching him rewind on demand until his lips can curve to form words that aren't even his because my mother gave him a broken X chromosome. Today, I will smile as he learns to brush his teeth for the first time or obsesses over his red pants and shirts. I will laugh as he tries to learn sign language to make up for tongue lost in fragile X syndrome, and I will accept his fake kisses like disorders. But I can't help but wonder. Can his brain still hold the times I messed up his food when he was eight or changed his diapers at seven? Will he miss me when I am not there to run my fingers through his hair like pink oil when he wakes up from ear tube surgeries or seizures? Will he remember how he slept in my bed every night after mama left and I held him like an extra pillow or when my arms were his restraints when daddy said put him in middle without seatbelt so he would be the first to die in car accidents? Can he know how he found a mother in Big Sister? For now, I will pray for him every night that his kidneys will stop trying to fail on us, that his blood sugar won't send him into a coma. I hope that he won't grow accustomed to not pronouncing my name when I go away to college and I pray. I pray that his seizures won't kill him before his diabetes does.